in the morning. In the morning. Let's dive into the headlines. Hoarding. Not a huge problem in the U.S., affecting around 2 to 6 percent of the population. But depending on what's being hoarded, can quickly turn very horrible indeed. The smell of which, alone, could wake the dead. Such was the case in Colorado, where funeral homeowners were arrested. Upon the discovery, they were hoarding 190 decaying bodies. They will be charged with 190 accounts of gross mishandling of a corpse, and really stinking at their jobs. How are they a funeral director and not know how to clean up? Talk about the worst thing to hoard. And why, Umi? Why? We may never fully know. Now, traffic. And not to our heater reporting, our traffic story today focuses on the traffic in the Atlantic Ocean. NPR says Ralph Bellucci, a Florida man, just got arrested for the fourth time for trying to cross the ocean expanse in a homemade floating hamster wheel. Now, weather. Feeling in for Kame Tartaruga. This is Connie H. Crab. Oh, hi, guys. As you can see, the weather's great. Whoa. Okay, okay, it's Good. Are you happy? Are you really happy with yourselves? <laughs> How do you stand the cold, Navarro? Hmm. Well, I was born and raised in the frozen chosen, the Arctic. It's all about the same to me. Although, I do have a bit more insulation than you do. Well, good for you. What do you want? An award? Speaking of awards, NPR states that it remains unclear if Dorothy Hoffner, at 104 years old, is the new record holder for the oldest person to jump out of a plane. The confusion comes since Dorothy died in her sleep just 10 days after her jump. So says Brookdale Senior Living, where Dorothy resided, before Guinness could confirm her record. So what now? Well, I'd be wary of any other Brookdale residents now going for the title. It might make me suspect foul play. Hey, even seniors have their dramas. Speaking of drama, another spotless giraffe has been discovered, this time on a reserve in Namibia. Only two are known to exist, the other born in Bright Zoo in Tennessee. Is this a new trend, like peanut allergies and trans babies, or is this too somehow related to climate change? I'm a colorblind octopus and can still mimic any color or texture in your world, so I don't get this no spot thing at all. Can they just turn it on? Taco Popo, back to you. <laughs> The Tennessee spotless giraffe's name is Kipeki, which means unique in Swahili. Now, Wani Gator, what's new in Florida? Well, Umi, I have to admit, I'm a huge Swifty. Have you ever wished you could learn how she does what she does? Now you can! Taylor debuts in the form of a 13-week course spring 2024 at University of Florida, UF. Musical storytelling with Taylor Swift and other iconic female artists. Students will be expected to write about themes like old flames, aging, infidelity, and double standards, and write two discussion posts, and co-write an original work at course end. Can you, Taylor Swift? Back to you. In other news, the British show Naked Attraction is causing a frenzy. Maybe these confused naked people are actually those people changed to black bears by Disney churros, and ended up on TV naked and confused. Probably not, but the Hollywood Reporter said it's like being on Tinder, but much worse. I've been on Tinder. It's really bad fishies. So that's saying something. But hey, no catfish. And that's our episode today. As always, just keep swimming. And don't die. Um, and summer in the morning.